What was your favorite sandwich as a kid? I think a lot of us, if not most of us, are gonna say either a bologna and cheese or peanut butter and jelly, mine being bologna and cheese. Amazing sandwich as a kid. Today, what I'm gonna do is show you how to take the bologna and cheese sandwich that we all enjoyed as kids and make an adult version out of it. Let's get started. So one of the ways we're gonna take this bologna and cheese sandwich up to the next level to an adult version, is we're gonna put it on the smoker and I'm using the Rectech pellet grill. Just push the on off button. I'm gonna smoke at 300 degrees. And we're gonna let that come up to temperature to be about 15 minutes or so. The secret to an awesome bologna and cheese, the way we're gonna do it, is thick sliced, and I'm gonna go with beef bologna. This is about a quarter of an inch. I would've, uh, I'd've been all right if it was even a little thicker than that, but this'll work, this'll work well. You want thick sliced bologna. One of the secrets to cooking bologna is making sure that it stays somewhat straight. So we're gonna put these slices in here. All the slices are gonna do is make sure the bologna doesn't curl up when it's being fried or, in this case, cooked on the smoker. I'm gonna get these onions nice and caramelized and they're gonna be ready for the sauce that we're gonna use. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper. So I'm gonna make my sauce in these blender cups. We use them for shakes, but they're really good for sauces also. We're gonna go ahead and put these caramelized onions inside of this cup. And we're gonna put about a tablespoon of mayo. And then about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We're gonna blend that all up. If you wanted a little more heat, you could throw in some hot sauce. I heard that you're not subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. That way you can stay up to date with all my new videos and you can look back at some of the older ones too. They're gonna to be videos just like this right here on Delmarva Backyard. After about five minutes, we're gonna go ahead and check on our bologna. And you can see it has some nice, wonderful grill marks. It's starting to take in some smoke. It's coming along nicely. And from putting the slices in the bologna, we don't have any curling. Now it's time to go ahead and add some cheese. And I'm gonna add some Gouda cheese. I just, I like the flavor of this, especially when I'm using it, you know, um, on burgers or anything that I'm heating up. I just think it, it's a little slower to melt but it, the flavor is just, it's wonderful. Oh yeah, it's time to go ahead and pull these bad boys. They look wonderful. If you're enjoying the video, do me a great favor. Smash that like button down below. That'll help me grow the channel. Thank you. So these bologna and cheese sandwiches are looking good as it is, but it's time to take it up to another level. We're gonna put some smoke mac and cheese on these sandwiches and that's just gonna really, really make things come together nicely. I have a link up above for a smoked mac and cheese recipe. Now a game changer. I'm gonna brush these buns with some melted clarified butter and then I'm gonna put them back on the smoker just for about a minute or two and these things are gonna be amazing. And let's go ahead and put our sauce on these sandwiches just a little bit. And use your creativity. You can add some things to make it suit your taste, but I'm telling you, this bologna and cheese is on a whole nother level. 